Welcome back to Rosie Revere and the Raucous Riveters. We're up to chapter seven. Rosie nodded and she read the flyer again. Let's put the flyer here. Art a go, Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Meet in the town library to receive the theme of the contest. 2 p.m. judging begins. Artists must paint by themselves. Support teams can set up and clean up and chair. No electricity can be used. The artists have to create the art by themselves, she said. If I can't help Jane pa June paint, what can I do? You're an engineer, said Letty. Invent something. June's art comes from the heart, said Marion. She just needs the tools to help her hands. But the contest is only two days from now, said June. Well, you better get thinking then, said Boss. Ah, here's some interesting little graphics. Oh, there's a foot and teeth. Huh. I wonder what you would do. You're an engineer, invent something. June's art comes from the heart. She spoke too late. Rosie was already thinking. She had so many questions. How could she build a paint machine? How would it load the paint? What kind of paint? How many colors? How would June control the brushes? How would she control them without her hands? Oh, Rosie flipped open her notebook and she jotted furiously to catch the ideas exploding in her mind. As she did, the sounds of chattering riveters faded away and Rosie pulled into her own world of engineering. Rosie loved engineering. It made her happier than just about anything. And her very favorite part was right at the start when the ideas were exploding in her head. She jotted down her ideas. Jotting is like draft or scribble down all your notes. Then she noticed that everyone was silent. She stopped scribbling and looked up. Seven smiling riveters were standing over her shoulders watching her. They raised their coffee mugs in a silent host toast to Rosie. I told you she was up to it, said Aunt Rose. Indeed she is, said Boss. Indeed she is. Rosie felt her cheeks turn red, but this time she did not duck behind Aunt Rose. Rosie Revere looked at the smiling riveters and she smiled back. Oh look, here's a design. Don't think that's going to be too successful. Chapter eight. Two days? Rosie had less than two days to invent a contraption to help June. The task was almost too great to imagine, but that didn't stop Rosie from trying. When she got home, she went straight to her attic room. She felt a storm approaching, a brainstorm, not like this storm outside. A brainstorm means your brain is so full of ideas. Rosie loved brainstorming. Anything was possible, even crazy weird ideas. Sometimes Rosie's weirdest ideas made her think in new ways or solve tiny bits of a big problem. She wrote all her ideas in a notebook. She made a cat powered painting pump. Cat powered painting pump. It would need a lot of cats. Hmm. And milk. Oh, it'd probably flop. After all, cats always run off or sit around like lazy lumps. How could she get a lazy, lumpy cat to power a painting machine? Rosie sketched her idea anyhow. Uh, what if she made a paint blobber? that used the small catapult to chuck the balls of paint onto the canvas. What if she combined the two ideas and made a catapult? <laughs> catapult. 
Would the cats like it? What would that look like? Well, Rosie sketched that one out too. Rosie did have lots of questions. What she did not have was lots of time. If she spent too long brainstorming, she would run out of time to make the rest, make and test the invention. Uh, so you can't spend too much time planning. Because you've actually got to make and test it. Testing was tricky. <sighs> she remembered the ketchup explosion at the beginning of the story. Uh, that was a big mess. <gasps> Wait a minute, thought Rosie. Could the snake away help? What if it pumped paint instead of ketchup? Rosie decided that this was a good place to start. The snake away used a small pump of the, from the garden pond. It ran on batteries, because remember the rules were no electricity, and was too small. But Rosie could use it to figure out the brushing mechanism. After that, she could figure out how to pump the paint without a battery. Step by step, one at a time, she would solve the problem. Rosie smiled. It was time for the next stage of the process. Design. Okay, here's your challenge. Can you design a machine to help June to enter the painting competition when her arms, her wrists are both in cast so she can't paint? What could she use? Could you please design a machine? That's your challenge. Go for it.